blue skies now, though. Yeah, it has to be a weapon. Can I fasten a piece of metal onto the lizard, thus the piece of metal being no. the weapon? No, the piece of metal does not quantify as a weapon. What if I take a dagger and, like, tie it around the lizard, like... <laughs> Isn't the lizard a weapon? Don't you have to soul for an hour? Yeah, Damn but, like, it. we waited for, like, six hours just gotta plant fucking trees earlier, so, like... Yes, you can take a dagger, tie it to a lizard, and soul bomb the dagger. Brian, you have your dagger? No, it's my dagger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you a single dart. Alright, that works better, even. I'm gonna take tie the dart to the lizard. Fum, 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 fum. I now have 19 darts. Fum, 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 fum. <laughs> I'm soul bonding that dart. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, our stream keeps dropping, Tyler. It's the internet. Yeah, it's no just going idea. in and out. Yeah, it'll it'll come back. Um, unless, you, like, you can check and make sure we're up at some point. But We're up, but it can't really just keep dropping. Yeah, there's, there's literally nothing back. we can do about the that. The storm. Sorry, um, friends. Yeah, I guess the rain is, is doing something weird. Or It's not raining. It was well, raining. It was. It does not, doesn't matter now. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it's fine um, now. I don't know, I'm just fine. Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry about me. that, guys. I'm sorry, the videos will be kind of uh, chappy. Yeah, chappy. They'll be a little chappy. Maybe a little chappy. All right, so my you have chapped on this one, boys. You have soul bonded yourself to a da or a dart, which you have successfully tied to this lizard familiar. Okay. I can now summon that lizard from anywhere. <laughs> as long as it's on the same plane of existence. I don't know. After what you just did to it, man. <laughs> Hey guys, Lizzie's cool with it, okay? I know, Lizzie. because it doesn't actually have an intelligence. Lizzie. Does it have a brain, or is it one of these things that doesn't have a brain? Lizards have a brain. <laughs> have you ever checked? Um, Personally, I've Okay, checked. what are you guys going to do? Walk down the river. We're going south. South. In south, a van. South. Down by the river. <laughs> um, we know which so, way is east, so we know which way is south. Okay, so you're following the river south. And I'm walking in yeah. the water. All right, one of you is walking in the water. Is the rest of you walking in the water? No. No. <laughs> okay. He's making splashing noises and kind of jumping up and down. Can I hide? Like, roll for a hide check <laughs> at the side of the river? You roll sneak. for a hide yeah, check. I'm rolling for a hide check. I'm rolling for a sneak check. Okay. We're still in the... <laughs> no. Yep. No. Yep. No. I have Lucky. Oh. I have a lucky. I have a lucky. It's a trait. It's an attribute. Can okay. I yeah. punch this bar and just crush it? I don't think no, it's you're, not, you're in a Snickers. Oh, it's a mus. <laughs> it's a half of a musket. Oh, it's it's an axe. Yo, no. It's oh, come on. Um, I think I had. Was it all wisdom and wisdom and dex checks? Oh my god. There's nothing to hide from, right? Can we just yeah, cut this short? I'm fifteen. <laughs> you're fifteen. Yeah, you kind of sneak along the tree line along the riverbank. Cool. Congratulations. You're most None of the ghosts can see you. Tell me that when a frog with a spear attacks you <laughs> and crits and almost kills you. I have way much health. <laughs> way <laughs> much you, health. Way you do much have reasons health. to way be much health. scared. I was sitting there and a frog with a spear did two-thirds of this my health. This is like a month ago, Brandon. You'll be okay. I want to use my lay on hands for six points. Dude, Wait, we just rested. We haven't fought since then. Oh, we rested? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck me. Yeah, we had a short rest. Um, I'm not doing a damn thing. It was a long rest. Oh, is that his damage from, like... From, like, three years ago? Yes. Oh, from, like, the platform fight. No, okay. from, like, the guys we just fought on the road. Oh. The bird. The, yeah, but oh, you still rested. Still rested. You took okay. the knife. Did um, it attack you? Yeah. It took oh. six damage at some point. Okay, oh, so you're continuing al along the river. And you walk along this river for... 45 minutes or so. Down by the river. Until it, it flows <laughs> down a little bit um, more nice. steeply, down kind of a, a rough waterfall. And uh, you come into a large, kind of open, wooded grove. All right. I want to bend down to the river, oh, reach no. into my pocket, <laughs> and pull out the pig fangs. I want to bury them. In the river? In the river. In the river. <laughs> Down okay. by the river. <laughs> um, yeah, you can do that. Why are you burying pig fangs? You didn't have to roll the burying pig fangs. <laughs> I rolled a 15. Did that change anything? 
No, it doesn't. They, they buried the real fangs. He successfully buried those fangs oh, no. real good. Real good. I feel like that's my phrase today, which is like, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> Alright. I, I did those pigs. We're doing a lot of really useless things today, oh, aren't yeah. we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the best part. This whole game is an exercise in futility, so it's... <laughs> whoa, whoa. We killed a bunch of stuff and scared the shit out of other stuff. That's right. true. In our heads. So we've done a lot of useless stuff. Mm -hmm. Can I hold... Is my sword look different at all? Is it reacting to this grove? No. It's okay. about the same. Can I roll to see? Are you going to move like further into the grove? I didn't even get to describe the grove. You're just you like, I want to bury this. this. What? Why you were doing this? What is the yeah, goal you're you trying to achieve you bury here? those fangs? I need to get rid of them. All right. <laughs> Man, those big fangs are too long. Um, so you see as you enter the oh, grove, the grove is... Um, it is, you know, decorated with uh, various wildflowers. Can I hide under the wildflowers? No, they're not okay. that tall. As you move in, you see <laughs> small <laughs> forest creatures kind of scatter. Um, you see deer and rabbits and things like that. Um, move out from the center, uh, as well as maybe some larger creatures, perhaps uh, dryads that have moved into the area or something along those lines. Um, but as you enter, everything is moved from the area and it is now quiet. In the middle... So the trees kind of arc to a larger canopy. The canopy here is probably about 40 or 50 feet high um, with large woodland trees. And they all canopy to the middle except for one spot, um, which is, uh, which uh, through it, the sunlight shines down because right. it is the middle of the day. Let's wait. We gotta be Is the sunshine the moon time. Is there a giant sword with a stone in the middle of the sunshine? No. Okay, cool. We gotta wait. Let's set up camp. Alright, yeah. I wanna go back on the river. Okay. I wanna cast Ray of Frost on the river and freeze over a little spot. How big of a spot? Like, you know, like five, a five, five feet by five feet, like a big square, like a, a medium sized square. Okay. I wanna set up my sleeping bag on the ice. Why not? Okay. <laughs> Why not? Um, you can do that. I'm gonna hear dudes coming through the water if they're trying yeah, to. Yeah, like, you. Come at you I mean, you can set up on the ice. It's going to be moist. Um, and throughout the night, can the water. <laughs> no. It's fairly it's like, warm. Uh, uh. Um, the water may <laughs> thaw the ice platform, Probably. and you may fall into the river. But it's only uh, five or six inches deep. I'll be okay. Y you can do that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now I don't have to watch because I'll hear them. Okay. Um, what else? What are the rest of you guys going to do? Uh, we just got to wait. Just set up normal camp. Just wait. Is, is there a tree nearby? Yeah, there's, there's, there's a tree. You're in the forest. <laughs> 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 a big tree. A big tree? Yes. Yeah, yeah, like, impressive looking tree. Slightly outside of the, tr the immediate tree line, there are large <laughs> trees that go up. Um, their trunks extend up, you know, at least 100 feet. I'm going to go to what looks like the biggest one. Alright. And I'm going to press my hands against it. And I'm going to use my Gloves of Awakening. I'm going to roll a resistance check against this. Ew, uh, what? It has a resistance? You so could not awaken you? a hundred foot tree. <laughs> you can speak to trees. How does it have resistance I can against it? Also, don't brains. you have to plant 30 seeds? Or is it only uh, 10? No, you have to plant 10 seeds. 10 seeds, within, okay. You have to plant 10 trees within a moon cycle. Okay. I'm um, 10 over two days. <laughs> don't make Bill any more OP than he already is. <laughs> Whatever you, you successfully awaken the tree, but it does not move. You can speak to this tree. Nice. I've taken 8 points of damage. Did you the, sacrifice can your the wing? Lizard heal people? Why, why did I have the lizard again? He can cast no, spells. I, I drop health every time he heals. Oh, um, he can? Like, remotely. Okay. Um, and so we now have an intelligent, living, 100 foot tall tree capable of moving. And he's my I just set it on he's, fire. He's not, capable, he's not capable of moving. <laughs> at the very least, he refuses to move because That's okay. you're not allowed to Why have an end tree? companion I mean, that is a hundred foot tree. I will not allow it. I'm going to name him. I'm going to be, hey, I'm going to name you Fanghorn. You are, uh, 
as far as I know, first intelligent tree on this continent. See that, uh, see that grove over there? Why are you talking like that? Because <laughs> I can. Oh, I just right. brought him to life. What are you talking about? He's pretty happy about yeah. it. That, uh... That yeah, is a moon grove. He's over here I know. Yeah, you know, I'm super wrong here. Ability, talk to all the trees. But please remember, protect the moon grove. And uh, then I'm going to take out the the seeds from that we got from... Can we create a scene from the Lord of the Rings? They're from the Dryads. I'm gonna give them some. I'm gonna say, spread them. They're from the Dryads. Uh, then I'm gonna sit down and just like talk with them. All right. So you can rest with a tree for a little while. Yeah, as the area. How the wind flows. Favorite trees. Are there any squirrels you like? You know, basic tree stuff. Yeah. He tells you about you know the various creatures that live like in him, because he's a tree. And, and you converse about, you know, woodland stuff. I want to get up. All right. Did you sleep at all? I don't think so. Okay. I want to plant the seed that I have that I forgot about. Okay. Where do you want to plant the seed? In the middle of the grove where the light is shining down. The sun. Okay. In the middle of the grove, there is a circle of... Did I, I guess I forgot to describe this. Um, in the middle of the grove, there is a collection of rocks. Okay. That so at its no, height is about five feet there's tall. There's no, like, ground. Not in the immediate uh, middle, no. Okay. Well, I do want to plant this tree in the or plant this seed, whatever it is, in this grove. Okay. So not in the middle where the sunlight is shining through, but somewhere else in the grove. Okay. Um. So I mean, you're you're welcome to plant it anywhere that you choose. Like I said, there's a rock formation with a um with a pool of water uh, in it in the very middle of the grove, and at its height, it's about five feet tall. Mm -hmm. Um. But there's area around that. There are two rivers flowing from uh, two of the directions in uh, towards it. Obviously, it doesn't flow into it because it would have to flow up. But it flows into the area around it. Um, and yeah, you can you can plant it wherever you want. It's good noise. <laughs> Pretty accurate to planting a uh, seed in the dirt. So as um, as you're speaking with the tree, you uh, he stops abruptly and um, says to you, I have sensed a, uh, a powerful presence within the grove. Yeah, me. <laughs> right here. I go up and I attack the tree. Bell? <laughs> I cast Thunder Wave. <laughs> Bill? Uh, my true. Fanghorn just said that? Yeah, Fanghorn said that to you. Do you think it's Antagonistic? Antag I don't think it knows what that word means. It, it's they're fairly it intelligent. Of ten. I think it knows what antagonistic means. It can also speak all languages I can, which that, means it can speak fucking air. That assumes that most, like the average person, knows what the word antagonistic means. I would say that most people. Are, yeah. I would say at least like seventy percent of people know it. So yes, he understands. Um, he says, I didn't realize that this was a tree god that we have here of intelligence. Just a tree. Um, and he says, no, no, it's not threatening. It's an, uh, a, an ancient natural presence. Oh. Does it have a name? No, it, has, it doesn't have a name. <laughs> Maybe it was named Chuck. I don't know. All right. Uh, should I go down and investigate? Um, no, you don't have to. Okay, then tell me about your favorite trees, and we'll make them speak next. Why not bring all your friends to life? And he, he begins to go on the um, on a long tree tangent about his, his tree friends, the entomology tree. of different tree names. Yeah, you're learning a lot about trees. Uh, Brennan and Ryan, what do you guys want to do? Still just kind of waiting. Yeah, I'm just passed out. All right. I, I set up camp, bringing out all wasted. my weapons. I drank two flasks of mead and passed okay. out. I don't know where you, where you were carrying it, but that's fine. <laughs> I have I have in the saddlebags four. Now I have now I have two yeah, left. Now you have two flasks of mead. Okay, um, so you guys are resting. <laughs> you say flasks of and uh, you yes. rest for a number of hours until, until the, the night sun time. sets. Um, the night is now is now upon you. 
and as the night uh, darkens, you can see as the moonbeams shine through the top of the canopy into the well in the middle of the uh, in, in the middle of the grove. Okay. Roll initiative. I forget what we were supposed to do in this. I assume we were supposed to come here, so I forgot why. Uh, I had some vision about it. I don't really know what we're supposed to do at this point. It's got something that had to do with the nighttime. Maybe you go touch the rocks or something. Yeah, you said there's a well now? Yes, in the middle of the grove there is a, a basin of water created out of, you know, naturally occurring stones. Um, I want to go look at the water. Into which the the uh, the moonlight is shining. Go bob the grapples. <coughs> yeah. A veritable moon well, if you will. Um, oh. And so you approach, you... You step uh, lightly across some sort of stepping stones that are in the stream that kind of circles the area, the pool of water that circles the area. You step onto some of the uh, makeshift stone staircase that kind of ascends the well up to the top of it, and you see before you probably about an eight-foot diameter um, well of clear water. You can see down to the bottom, which is also created of smooth stone. There's some cracks in it. Um, But you look over the well, and you can see the moon reflecting um, in the ripples of it. And uh, as you're leaning over it, a single drop of blood flows from the corner of your eye and drops into the moon well. My brain. (laughs) It's coming down. (laughs) Um, And as this happens, you see the image of the moon in the moon well. um, Obscure, like kind of uh, wash over with red, the moonlight from the moonlight from the uh, the canopy is also turned red, and the entire pool is kind of uh, kind of fades to this dark blood color. Mm. I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> you have to roll. For that. Um, what do you want me to roll? The dice. Just roll your <laughs> d twenty. Roll the dice. Is it a wisdom? That's not a wisdom. You're unconscious. You don't have a wisdom when you're unconscious. But I'm in my favorite territory. (laughs) I don't give a shit. Roll how vigorous you are. 18. 18? Yeah, you you wake up. All right. You sense a a dark presence within these woods. All right, all right. Can I stab the ground with my moon sword? Stab the ground with your moon sword? Yeah. No. I mean, you can, but nothing happens. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I don't do it. What happens next? All right. Uh... Roll initiative. All right, I knew it. Ten. We're in it, boys. Now you did not specify where you are. Um, he's in the. He's on my ice sheet. No, I'm definitely not on his <laughs> ice sheet. Did you? You did you set up camp near the entrance um, where the? So it's a big circle with a well in the middle. It's a large right? circle with a well in the middle. Where's yes. the water? Where's the water? Yeah. You, what do you mean like the street? Where did he? S- so the two streams came in. Mm-hmm. Right, this is the stream you came in from. Here is Aaron. Map. Here's the other stream on the other okay. side. Comes in there, and they both flow, not oh. to the well itself, sure, but to the so area cool. of the well, to the middle. I'm going to be next to Ryan. Okay, you didn't follow him up there because you were asleep. Oh, okay, I'm going to be next to... I'm yeah. going to be in between air... I don't even know, just put me anywhere. So you're 40 feet from the well. Whoa. Okay. Ryan is at the well. You are 50 feet from the well. Bill is within the tree line, so he's closer to 65 feet from the well. Um, 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 um. Is Kesha with us? <laughs> no. Damn. We got separated. All right, Ryan. Um, as you are standing there over the well, a large uh, amorphous well. creature is going to rise from the water. And, uh, Do I recognize it as blood colored? You don't know. Because of my primeval awareness that I felt this large you elemental presence. You felt an elemental presence, but you do not know what it was or where it was. Can I put two to two together? Roll and your get four? intelligence. Okay. You rolled a four. hey Rolled a three, actually. <laughs> you rolled a three, and you're well, like, hmm. Which would be a... It's a four. So I did roll a four! <laughs> God yeah. damn. You're the like, prophecy. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, but this large, blood-colored... Creature rises from the well. Does it look like um, a grimer? It does not look like a grimer. I would know if it was a beast. It's not a. I can confirm it's not I a beast. Can confirm it is not a beast. I thought you were gonna say you would know if it was a grimer. I would know if it was a grimer. 
Okay, did it just um, evolve into a monk? <laughs> did you guys, did you no, guys roll? Dead. Did you guys roll initiative? Yeah. Yeah. I think I rolled a three. Hurrah! I roll... Ooh! Roll a 20, Juan. I'll just go last. I rolled a one. Okay, I won't go second to last. You rolled a three? Yeah. Okay. Um, Initiative is not my strong suit, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we have... There being an I initiative mean, box is Ryan. stupid. Because you'd have to be like literally erasing it every time you got to a fight. Okay, so um, Brennan, you notice as this large blood red creature is rising from the well, um, it kind of towers over. It's you know uh, at least you know fifteen feet tall. Uh, it rises in its in its globulous form, and um, you have the opportunity to make your take your turn. Can I like? Well, okay. So I mean, since we took. Since we took an initiative, do we all like know that this thing is hostile? Or it definitely doesn't look friendly. Cool. It's a blood beast. Dude. Is it the only thing around? Do we see any other thing? Any other thing attacking us? No, there's nothing else as Victor far as we Amelia. Can tell. <clears throat> all right, I'm gonna hunter's. Victor Amelia. Yeah. She's fine. Yeah, she sucks. I'm gonna hunter's roll? mark. Who did you roll? Him. I'm gonna. Fuck shoot right. him. <laughs> what did you roll? You rolled 21, I think. Wow. Oh, no. Come back. 16. 16? Yes. Okay. So, you successfully hit. Bill, Um, I think I asked this last time. How do damage resistances work? If it's resistant to damage, then it takes half damage from the attack. Okay. All right, sounds like a plan. Have you rolled for damage yet? No, uh, so I, I do hit. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, so you shoot your arrow at it, and it flies right through. You can kind of hear a twang off in the distance where it might have hit the trunk of a tree. Um, it definitely is aware of your presence, and. Uh, Good. Indeed. Assert my dominance. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I assert my dominance. Ryan, it is your turn. All right, I'm casting so divine favor. So it is favor. currently towering over you. This. How fruit. tall is it? It's about 15 feet. I'm casting divine favor. Alrighty. Bill, it. And I'm rolling Prime. to you know, you know stab it up. with my rapier. Okay. It's a critical fail. A critical fail. So, uh, as you it's stab, just that easy. as you stab at this uh, giant blood creature, well, we had Kesha with us. You're expecting more resistance uh, when stabbing because typically when you stab things, they don't necessarily give through. But you realize while stabbing that this creature is made at least in part by water, and so your hand goes directly through, and reacting to the fact that your fist is now in a hostile creature, you draw it out quickly, and your rapier is now suspended. No, in the of that no, creature. I didn't let go. I've learned. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> I did not let go of my rapier. <laughs> um, did he let go of his rapier? The, uh, but you did not hit. So, uh, yes, he does. Stupid. He can't roll a... He can't roll a... So bonded, dude. I should just stop letting go of my weapon every time I fail. Maybe you should still bond it to yourself. What if I have that spear that you threw? Did we ever get that back? No. It is now it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Right, I gotta I gotta erase that. No longer has spear. Just left it there. So Ryan, uh, I had to mark the killing blow. If noticing that it is a, that you have attacked against it, it kind of uh, swings one of its watery arms at you, um, but you duck out of the way. You say it's made of water, partially. Yeah. I mean, it, it came from the well. Okay. So I have two daggers and no spears anymore. Um, you but you managed to dodge out of my spear. So the Aaron is your turn. Are things that are made of water typically weak to lightning and strong? Is what I mean. Thunder wave it, Aaron. I can't do that because you'll all take damage. That's cool, dude. Just go ahead and give it a good old all right. I want to use all my movement, all 30s of my movements, Okay. to get close enough to hit it with shocking grasp. Okay. 
Yo! Oh, oh, man! man. <laughs> I That's missed. Alright. It was a 20 for everybody else. <laughs> it was, yeah, that was, that was, that's what we like to call a D20. <laughs> So I guess that's what we do every time now that we Whoa. <laughs> you, roll, you roll twice. And take the higher one? No. Don't for, you do, for a critical hit, you roll twice. You just do double damage, oh, right? right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, seven plus four is 11. 11. Electric damage, does that do any more? All right. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming weaknesses are double damage. <laughs> opposite of... Uh... Yeah, so weaknesses are double... So you... You double it before you add anything on. Okay. So what was your first roll? Six? Yeah. Six? Okay, so six, twelve, plus four. Oh, plus five. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you did 17 damage. Okay. Cool. Oh, man. Nice. Just Jedi Force fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yes, you you uh, launch your electric grasp, or whatever you call it, shocking blast. Um, Shocking grass. grass. Uh, at it. Ah. <laughs> and uh, it jerks around violently with the electric current that you unleash upon it. Uh, it lets forth a blood curdling scream. Oh, I've got the best idea. And uh, <laughs> Bill, your turn. Involved Real quick, we do have um, we do have a oh, wait, question. Would... If we could raise our volume at all. Raise the volume. Or is the gain, is the gain as high as it can go? I think oh. we're, our volume is physically as high as we can go. Tyler, I want to use my bonus action. Uh, four. I want to tell people to move away from the beast. Because they can't even hit it with physical attacks. So. No. It, it, it dam got damaged. Really? Mm -hmm. It just went through him. He's a glob, but it got damaged, right? Yes. Is yeah. I would like to ask you to move back, at least for this time. I'm 40 feet away from it. Yeah, oh. un unfortunately, we can't raise our volume. Like, our volume is literally as loud as we can go on this mic. So, we apologize for that. We'll try we and talk. Scream we'll try and talk a then, little so. bit louder um, to see if that helps at all. But, yes. What um, is this? I don't What's that? So, uh, what were you going to do with your bonus action? I want to ask Ryan to, like, back up a little bit. That's a free action. That's a free action. I want to use whatever, because I'm not even going to use a bonus action, to okay. tell Ryan to. Put a, uh, just a teeny bit of distance in between him okay. and the monster. Yeah. So um, he, he yells at you to back up. I back up. Bill, is your turn. You'll back, back up on your turn. You should probably grab your sword. Hey, really can I? <laughs> I don't know what this is. Uh, roll your in, uh, wisdom. Wisdom? Also, actually, no. Don't do that yet because you are still in the tree line. Oh, I, I can see him. You can you can, but you're not uh, you're not there. Your vision is partially obscured, so you'll have to use part of your movement to go and try and get a good look at it. All right, I'm going to dash over so I can get a good look at whatever they're fighting. Okay. Can I now? See yeah, now you can roll. Huh? Or wisdom? Like, like uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay, so you recognize the creature as some sort of water weird. Of course, it's a water weird. Water yes. weird? Yeah. Um, weird. That's the official How do you name? spell that? Weird. W E I R. Going to, uh, weird. Do, do I have enough movement speed to get on the ground in front of it? Damn it, these fuckers. No, do. you can't move that far. I'm casting lightning wave. I don't give a shit. Uh, uh, not even 50 feet? No. Hey, get within range where you can hear me. Um, depends on how loud you are. Um, you said I was 65 feet away to start, and I have 50 foot movement speed. So it's 15 feet away. So yeah, you'll you'll be in 15 feet. I think you can hear you. It's up a little bit, so you'll be like screaming kind of upwards, but it's large enough that it should probably hear you. Or hear okay. you. Yeah. In common, I'm gonna go stop attacking. Never. And then in Arin, um, which is the air version of Primordial, uh, I'm gonna say, hey, 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 hey! They don't they don't know what you are. You scared them. You scared them. Uh. Uh, it doesn't react to you. I, I know it understands me. It understands Aquin. Aquin. So, so, Primordial is a base language, and there's dialects, kind of like how there's British English, American English, Southern English, and Spanish English. 
So Auckland, Terran, Orin, and uh, this guy are the four dialects of Primordial. Fun fact, Bill created Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. He's using the debug kit. Uh, <laughs> It's like I'm coming and saying American English, and he speaks British English. Well, he, he, okay, so he you understands you, but he doesn't stop uh, aggressing. That's, in any That's fine. That's fine. Um, That's fine. Ryan, it's your turn. All right. I already just smell the little pad. I'm sorry. Um, Gross. I was going to even know you So are you backing up per Aaron's request? Well, I can hit and back up, can't I? Yeah. Movement's a full yeah, attack and back up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm going to hit him with my whip first. So did we witness any change of that creature? No. Oh, well, it goes after Ryan, right? It's not his turn yet. It's my turn. Okay. Yeah, it's Ryan's turn. Fuck this guy. Fuck him. Murder his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, would grab, so I would grab your thing. Grab my thing? Yeah, dude. That's a good idea. No, I'm gonna attack it with. I have another weapon. We'll get it afterwards, or we'll forget. Or, or we'll just forget. <laughs> yeah, or we'll forget it. And <laughs> we usually forget. I mean, I usually have to use the whip at some point anyway. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, the whip is pretty VM. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm gonna attack him first. And then, yeah, I'll run like. With your, with your whip? Away. Yeah, with my whip. My whip. <laughs> it's a. Uh, <laughs> a five? You do not succeed in hitting it. And right, he, and he grabs like, the whip and takes it out of your hand. Yeah. I run like 20 feet away. <laughs> 20 feet? You can't move 20 feet. I can't. I can move yeah, 20 I'm not gonna feet. You, I'm not going to let you move 20 feet after attacking, though. Why? Move 15 Why? feet. You can then. move 15 feet. That's the whole point Why? of speed. Dude. Yeah. You can use that in your turn. Because you're supposed to move before you attack. Right? No. Why does it matter? No, it doesn't matter in order? Okay. Yeah. Get no. Tyler's trying to I, I've d- No, I've done that before, and Bill was like, mm, no, you can't do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> See, Bill is cheats. That, we've got the answer now. Um, yes, yeah, so you can move your full movement speed then. I was uh, like, was like 10 feet, then attack something, and then retreat. Uh, well, Aaron was like 5 feet from something, so I was going to allow him to pop out, attack, and then like take a step, because 5 feet for him is like a step backwards. It's not even... That was a specific situation. Anyway, go ahead. I just run like 20 feet. Okay. Um, so you're out of its range. Eh, eh, eh. You win, right? I went. Uh, oh, if, what, I went supposed one. to go. I have before so me. many. I have you're so many orders that I I'm like completely yeah. missed out. This year, he's supposed to go before yeah. me. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm looking at the wrong. Because see, I had the highest. Did you do damage? No. <laughs> I attack him again. Like okay. usual. Yeah. Yeah. That's a crit, baby. That's a crit. Dang, Jesus. a 20. That's a crit, right. baby. Go for it. It's going to be... Do I add my modifier to both so, rolls? So roll, roll one. Hmm? Roll one first. Roll the first damage. Yeah. So this would be nine. Uh, uh, Thirteen. Thirteen, okay. Wow. That would be... Fifteen. Yeah. Jesus Christ. 13 and 15. 28. All right. Um, so that's 22 damage. 13 and 15? Yes, because he, he it's resistant to oh, piercing okay. attacks. But it, I'm assuming resistance works in the same way that does... Um, or does resistance flat uh, have damage, even on crit? Uh, it... Flats have da- it just flats have damage. Okay, so it did, you did fourteen damage. Oh, oh what? Oh, that sucks. Uh, yes. Yeah, so you shoot an arrow. It kind of pierces through its its uh, upper area, and there's a splash on the other side as the fletching of the arrow kind of pushes through. Um, yes, you successfully attacked it. Congratulations. Okay, Ryan wins. Sorry about that. And now Aaron is the one that is closest to the creature. Yeah. Correct. So it is going to attack you. Okay. Goodness gracious, holy shit. All right, uh, no, it doesn't succeed. Once again, it attempts to attack you, but Aww. you dodge it or you know, bash away its, its uh, appendage with your shield. All right, I'm going to throw my sword backwards. Okay. Just, a, just away from me. And okay. then I'm going to yeah. run oh. straight at it and dive into it. 
I'm just gonna go ah, woo, poof, okay. and dive into this aqueous being. Okay. And then I'm gonna cast Thunder Wave <laughs> for the first time. The thunder Wave. <laughs> and this motherfucker needs to do a saving throw against Constitution. So is that my Constitution? Or no, it's no, your no, it's spell save DC. Okay, so it needs to roll. It needs to be higher than eleven. Okay. About the suicide. No, it doesn't damage me. It uh, succeeds its uh, spell save. Okay. That's fine. I don't give a shit if it does any of that. Where is my... Alright. Boom. Five. Boom. Two. That's seven. Boom. Oh, no. It just doubles seven, which is 14, and then it halves it again, so it just does seven. Double seven, and then so because the, the attack double it succeeded, seven, so it just does half damage. Yeah. So I roll two d eights, which I did total. But it halves damage. it again because it. Oh no, because it's. Uh, you're right. It's it's weak to lightning. Yeah. So um, it ends up doing seven damage, which is okay. really incredibly weak and should have been a lot more than that. But whatever. Alrighty, uh, Bill, it is your turn again. Okay, so it continues attacking. Yes. I'm gonna go. You're kind of an asshole. And I'm going to cast lightning lore. And rip it out of the water. Lightning lure, you're going to attempt to rip it out of the water. Okay. Uh, Sidney's throw strength, so it has to make a strength saving throw. Alrighty. Okay. 13. Uh, it failed. Jesus Christ, okay. Three. Um, I rip it out of the water. Well, it being an, so a water it? creature. Just seven. Oh. It could have been um, more than that. You <laughs> deal additional damage due to the lightning on the lightning lure, but you can't rip a water creature like, collectively out of... Yes, you can. It's a water weird. You don't read your creature. No. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't function as a physical, like, being. Ooh. Yeah, it does. Check your stat block. Bound to a specific water location... A stat block? Is that you? Yeah. Fuck. It's not good. Your stat block, Tyler. I, I have no idea what I'm looking at, but it doesn't. In my mind, it doesn't make sense for a creature made of water to be affected by anything. You pull it out of the water, it dies. That's how water breathes. It says it's bed. bound to the uh, to yeah, the water. But if it leaves the water, it dies. That, that's one of the ways that you kill them. You either you just destroy water, you stab it a whole bunch, which is always useless, or you just pull it out of the water. Check the tape. <laughs> Where does it say it? I mean, <laughs> reveal your secrets. It, it doesn't say anywhere that um, that it's killed upon leaving the the water in the monster menu, unless I'm missing something obvious. I'm gonna cast thunder wave again. <laughs> So I'm gonna allow you to do double damage, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pull it from the uh, it's not gonna be pulled from the actual fountain, the well. Water weird. Water yeah. bound. The water weird dies and leaves the water, which is bound, or if that water is destroyed. Yeah, but it's made of water. How, it's not going to leave it. Try it. Has like a physical form. Lightning Lord pulls the form. And pulls out of the water. I disagree. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna use DM superiority in this situation and say that you can't pull it from its uh, from its uh, its well. Master still takes 16 points of damage. Is that after doubling? Yeah. Okay. 60? 16. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll do it twice. He gets to roll another saving throw. Fuck <laughs> this guy. He fails again. Holy shit, it takes 32 points of damage. So All right. 16. So you cast Lightning Lure twice, and this thing struggles against you as you rip these lightning lassos through its um its uh, collective form, and you're kind of tearing out these large portions <laughs> of water. After doing it yeah, twice... what happens to Aaron? I'm hiding. <laughs> you don't get hit by either of them. It, it, it attacks the, the upper portion. I'm assuming that you were intentionally avoiding... Um, Aaron. Actually, no. Well, because you're in water. Not only are you in water, I'll, you're in blood. I'll roll so, constitution. Yeah, roll a constitution check 
against uh Bill, what's your spell save DC? Thirteen. Thirteen? Oh my gosh, roll it eight. Hey, roll it twice. Uh that's a sixteen. Okay. Um so you take damage once and sixteen points of damage, man. I'll survive. Well, he's not made out of water. Yeah, you know, he's he well kind of made out of water, but he's not fully made out of water. Um, so yeah, you take eight points of damage. Uh, okay, but after doing this twice, um, and splashing water about the, the well, the creature kind of howls at, into the night, and then collapses back into the pool. Into the night. As you can see, um, it, the, the elf is, or not the elf, the human is kind of laying there, soaking wet in the middle of the, uh, the moon well, but as you're laying there, you kind of feel soothed by the oh, moonlight yeah. that is now coming back down. The grove is no longer tinted red, and um, that fucking song, dude. <laughs> and yes, you you have successfully defeated the warrior. The red from the the pool itself fades. It seems as though the moonlight kind of casts on it and it eats away at the red until the pool returns to its. Um, its original, uh, its original state and color. Do you need a break? Does my kid do anything weird? No. All right. Do you want to do anything with it? Bury it. <laughs> bury it. Bury Everything you want to do, bury it. Bury, bury, bury it with the pig bags. <laughs> what if I dabbed it in the water? What if I soaked it in the? All right. So we're we're about to break. Do you want to? Are you guys good? We do it after. I don't care. Okay. All right. So we're gonna break. I want some tacos. Oh, I don't know where Brennan went. Uh, yeah, thank you guys tacos. for watching. Sorry about the technical <laughs> difficulties that we've been having. We will be back in 30 minutes to a half hour. Bill, you want to thank anyone? 30 minutes to a half hour. Yeah, I would like to thank Back XPLX, uh, Devil Up Games, and congratulations, Devil Up Games, on your achievements today and games to the front page of Game Devs. Um, Elite Impressive. Killer, 965, you've been with us a while and having a good conversation. Gargamon, I'd love to hear more from you after the break. Heat Wave, 2615 Xbox, of course you're doing wonderful. It's like Thunder Anderson, you are gone from the table, I can see it empty right now. <laughs> and Tangentson, thank you for all the lovely compliments, we love you too. Yeah, thank Please you guys so much. Uh, we'll see and you guys after the break. Yeah, we'll be back with uh, with more fun stuff. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you then. See you guys.